Yes, you guys, and I have an expert here with me, a registered nurse, Linda Myers, who's sort of in charge of this beautiful new facility here, who also rides a Harley and has written three novels. I just thought I'd throw that in because honestly, being a registered nurse is apparently not enough for you, Linda. Okay, why is this facility so important to people and their heart health? Uh, well, I just feel like this having this as a resource for this community, especially on the east side of Portland, people who've had a heart event, whether it's a heart attack or open heart surgery, things like that, it can be really hard to get back into an active lifestyle because there's a lot of fear associated mm -hmm. with having a, another event. And here's a place where you can come and we put you on a heart monitor. We keep track of your blood pressure and things like that. You're exercising around people who've been through the same thing that you have. And so they form friendships and we do education and it's a safe way for people to learn about how to live a healthier lifestyle. And we're gonna talk a little bit about prevention because this is Heart Health Month in February. And you guys have lots of different seminars and, and uh, activities learning how to be healthy. And let's just talk about a couple of these, Linda. Like what is Move More Day all about? Yeah, Move More Day is just a, a way to get people thinking about what can I do to just move a little bit more, whether it's uh, sitting and standing at your desk, uh, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, parking a little bit farther away, just getting yourself in the habit of um, moving more. So it doesn't have to be anything super formal. Doesn't just have to yeah. be a run or a, yeah. or, a, or a trip to the gym. It can just be little things that you can do throughout your day. Yeah, get up at your desk even. Yeah. How about add a color to your plate day? I, I'm thinking you, you don't have chocolate in mind. Well, we weren't <laughs> thinking browns. We were okay. more thinking oranges and reds and yellows, okay. different vegetables that are uh, heart healthy. Uh, greens are phenomenal for your blood pressure pressure and for your health, um, oranges like carrots and sweet potatoes and things like that. Just kind of thinking about things that add color, but also add nutrition. Okay. I think a lot of us can do that, but some of us have a little trouble with this sleep and stress. Be well day. What are you focusing on for that? Well, I think that there's a, a lot of people who don't know maybe that they're not sleeping well. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people who snore really intensely, sometimes that can be a, a symptom of sleep apnea, and that can affect your health and your blood pressure and all kinds of things related to your heart. So decreasing stress and trying to get people um, to understand that if they do snore a lot, they might need a sleep study. They might need to um, do something about that. It's so, fixable. It's fixable. It's fixable, and people feel so much better once they start wearing a machine if they if that's indicated right. um, so yeah just trying to educate people that sleep is really important all right if you had to pick one thing for maybe <laughs> some of us who are not as healthy as we should be what would it be Oh, one thing is right? hard. Um, I, I think that nutrition is um, the biggest thing. Our okay. diet is so important to eat in moderation and, and to eat more whole foods and and things like that but moving that's up there moving, too. Moving and, and nutrition are, are super important. And we address both things here in cardiac rehab. We have educational classes every week for our patients and they exercise three times a week and we kind of put it all together in, in one big package. So. All right, these events that you have coming up, it says 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. February 12th through the 15th, yep. open to the public. Open to the public. Anybody can come. We're gonna be doing some blood pressure screening. We're gonna be doing education. People can come and tour the gym here and see what we're all about. Um, so yeah, it should be fun. Each day something new. Thank you so much. Everybody's super nice. Stop by. So much to learn. They're also going to be talking about risk factors. And it's not just for older people either. It's for everybody. So a way to keep your heart healthy in February. Back to you guys. And well beyond if you do all that, Tracy. Thank you.